From brushes to sanitizers to nail clippers, volunteers at Direct Relief are putting together these hygiene kits for those in need. I can't imagine being in a place in this world or in this state or in this county where you have to be thankful for shampoo and soap. The kits will go to dozens of local nonprofit organizations that serve homeless and low-income individuals, as well as those most vulnerable in other countries. Maybe who have been displaced or are in shelters due to evacuations, or um, people who are unhoused. The hygiene kits contain non-prescription items such as toothpaste, soap, towels, and other personal care items. Just in order to do basic needs, just to be able to be clean. So far, volunteers have prepared more than 4,000 of these hygiene kits for those in need. It's great. You kind of just get moving through it and make it really efficient, and you feel good about it at the end of the day. Really based on the support of People like these folks who are from our local community who have come out to help support us. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without the generosity, whether that be time or other ways to support us. Direct Relief is projecting a total of 8,000 hygiene kits will be prepared by the end of the week. I think the organization is giving hope to people that are in a position where they have no hope. In Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti. In state news, thousands of striking actors rallied in Los Angeles today. The SAG-AFTRA union has been on strike since July 13th. Members are picketing for increased compensation and fair pay if artificial, uh, artificial intelligence is used to replicate their likeness and voices. They marched through the streets outside Paramount Studios and Netflix today. Your health now. President Biden is accelerating his administration's cancer moonshot initiative. He announced today $240 million in additional investment this year to prevent, detect and treat cancer. The cancer moonshot initiative hopes to cut the death rate by at least half by the year 2047. We sort of gave up on the notion that we could, we could cure cancer. Everything we've ever put our mind to, we've been able to do. And the administration is also announcing a new effort to speed up clinical trials for cancers and other diseases and step up efforts to reach underserved communities nationwide. Well, the need for regulation is mounting as artificial intelligence becomes more prevalent. And so, uh, several tech industry leaders, including Meta's Mark Zuckerberg, Tesla's Elon Musk, met with 